Hey everyone, Chef Patrick here from Sabroso. Welcome to my kitchen. When you hear the name Chalupa, you automatically think about Taco Bell. But what if I told you you can make Chalupas at home better than anything you'll ever get at a fast food place? In this video, I'll show you how to make it along with a fresh tomatilla salsa that's got a little bite and a lot of zing. I'm doubling up and calling this the Big Mouth Chalupa. Come on, let's get started. You're about to have a little taste of what you're missing But if you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen Full of flavor, flavorful, save your tools Te vamos a enseñar unas recetas del baúl Slice, dice, chop, nice spice, hot or mild We got it, you just named the style One in a meal, culinary skills Prestigioso, todo queda sabroso First, let's start with the tomatilla salsa. We're going to peel and rough chop half an onion and add them to a baking sheet. Then we're going to rough chop about a pound of green tomatillos. Tomatillos are slightly more acidic and less sweet than regular tomatoes. The flavor is bright and the texture is dense with less water, making it perfect for salsa. Add the tomatillos to the baking sheet. Now we're going to remove the seeds from two fresh serrano peppers. This is going to give our salsa some heat. If you can't find serrano peppers, you can substitute fresh jalapenos. Next, we're smashing and removing the peel from five cloves of fresh garlic. Add them to the pan whole. Drizzle the vegetables with two tablespoons of olive oil. Season with salt and pepper. then toss to coat. Place the pan in a 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes until the vegetables are roasted. Place them in a food processor. Along with the juice of two limes. Add one cup fresh cilantro. One teaspoon of honey. Half teaspoon each ground cumin and coriander. And a pinch of salt and pepper. Puree mixture until smooth, but leaving some chunks. Place in a container and set aside for later. Now let's make our beef filling for the chalupas. In a saute pan, over medium heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then add a half a cup of diced onions and three garlic coals that have been sliced. Saute for three minutes. Add one pound of ground beef and cook until brown. Add half a cup diced red tomatoes and cook for additional two minutes. Add one teaspoon each ground cumin, coriander, and dried oregano. I'm adding some of our signature spice. Season with salt and pepper. And add one tablespoon of chili powder. Mix to combine the spices. 
Add some fresh cilantro, then remove from the pan and set aside for later. Now let's make the chalupa dough. There are five simple ingredients. Two cups flour, one tablespoon baking powder, quarter teaspoon kosher salt, one cup of milk, and one tablespoon of olive oil. Mix everything until the dough comes together. Dust the work surface with flour and then begin to knead the dough for about five minutes. Now that the dough is done, we're going to cut the dough into six pieces. If you want smaller chalupas, you can cut the dough into eight pieces. Now take each piece of dough and form them into a ball. Then begin rolling them out into circles about a half inch thick. Now let's fry the chalupas. In a pan filled with about a cup and a half of canola or vegetable oil over medium high heat, slowly add one dough at a time. Cook for about 30 seconds on one side. Then flip over for another 30 seconds. Then flip the dough in half to form the chalupa. Cook until golden brown on both sides. Drain on paper towels and repeat the process. Now it's time to fill the chalupas. I like to add a smear of refried beans. Then the ground beef mixture. Some shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Mexican crema, which is a kicked up version of sour cream. Shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, the tomatilla salsa we made earlier, and fresh cilantro leaves. Way better than fast food. I needed two of me to scarf down this big mouth chalupa. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like these, click that subscribe button and you'll stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.